Welcome to this video for ALM Octane, describing the flows relating to backlog management, release planning, teamwork over the planned content and the tracking of the progress. Here in ALM Octane we can switch to the backlog module, to view the backlog, which is structured by epics, features and stories. In the epics we see the epics list and we can add a new epic to the list. So let's add one, we'll, have, we'll call it scalability, set the epic type to be a business epic type, we can add or add another, let's just add another, let's have it as uh, payment services, that will be also an, of a business epic type, and we can conclude that creation. So these two are added, and we continue to add more. We can add not just epics, but also features which break down those epics. So let's have a PayPal uh, payment support. We'll set it to relate to that epic that we've just created. We can set also that feature type to be of a business type and set the weight and effort of it in story points. Let's give it this and that amount of story points. We can add and add another. Let's have a bank transfer feature. That will be also a business feature type and will give that its own weight in story points that reflect its effort. And we can continue and add uh, to further break down that content into stories. Again, it can be quality stories. Uh, here we see that it is pre-populated by a template that I've created earlier. So I get the name with its prefix and release and team already set, so I can continue to set up my, as a user, I want to set up my PayPal account. And I can link it to that feature of PayPal support. I clear data that I'm not, don't need necessarily. And again, I can already give it its weight in story points. And uh, again, not, it's not a required field at the moment, but I can do that. And I can create another again, pre populated. I can override with a different template or not use a template at all. So here I have a different prefix, also with some pre structured description. Uh, again, to have some kind of a standard. So I have my user wants to see their account settings and also change, change it. And I can uh, clear the release for the sake of demonstration, keep it to the Beatrice team and define the, um, the description. The system should provide means for the user to view and uh, let's say the, the PayPal account settings. And I can relate to that structure, API, not applicable docs, yeah, it should state. Voila. Yeah. So we have that user story set as well. So we have, and, and this way you can continue and create our backlog, and we have by that create uh, that structure of epics broken down into features, and th those in turn are broken down into stories again, quality stories, user stories, or even defects that we are we find and define that as part of that feature that needs to be completed. So then, once we have that uh, structured in place, we can go and um, rank our features. Again, we sort it by the rank column and we can see all those new features and we can take one let's say that paypal support i want that to be number one to be the top ranked item to be done first and the bank trust for that that can be a third item after that manage single chat and let's say i want the send message feature to be placed at the bottom it's not that critical and by that i can prioritize and do that ranking work uh, throughout my features and then I can go and plan them and I can go to that release bucket on my right hand side and drop it on that release and by that assign those features to that release and I can see against the release cap velocity based on all the teams allocated to that uh, release with their velocities for each sprint so I can measure how much I'm estimating that dotted line is the estimation 
against the release velocity. And here the same I can do with stories. The stories I can also plan them not just for the release, but also for a particular sprint, for a particular team. So I can select that sprint. And then I see the themes uh, that are available for that sprint. And I can go and select um, the teams and uh, the stories here that I want to allocate, let's say for Aqua team for sprint one. And that seven story points of total is reflected in that bar of the aqua team against their velocity in that sprint and i can select others let's take uh, these four stories and plan them to be done by loose team for sprint one and again we see how where are we um in terms of the velocity available for loose team and aqua team for that sprint and continue to do that planning so that goes into how we plan the features and stories. And once that is planned, the team can start and, and do their work and go to the team backlog module. And here we see the stories based, set for that context of release, uh, sprint, and team. So we see the stories that are in a way defined. We see the team members uh, for that uh, team. And again, the list of uh, stories, the, the tests the test that cover those stories and the tasks that break down those stories into actual item to follow. So uh, if you work in, uh, in a kind of a, a scrum style by working with tasks, you can work on that task board, add tasks, new tasks directly on the board to every uh, story or a defect, user story or a defect or quality story. Uh, for example, coding for this story, I add it directly. I can go into, uh, drag it onto a user and by that make the assignment. So Leo is now assigned to it. I can define what is the expected estimated hours that needs to be invested. And I can start working on it, moving into in progress. And if needed, also update the in uh, hours that were invested. Uh, for example, six hours were invested out of those 12. So I can save it and again, the remaining hours are six uh, that needs, still need to be invested uh, further. So that would be the work uh, when we are using the, the task board, more or less relating to the scrum style of uh, working. Uh, if we are working uh, in a more, I would say often as Kanban style using storyboard. So you can switch from the story tab to the storyboard and see the stories according to their phases um, so we see that we have um, the new and the open defect i can add also stories the same uh, i did with tasks i can add a defect or a quality story or a user story for example that's a defect styling of the uh, favorites uh, is wrong as a defect that i need to handle uh, as part of that sprint and I have that defect, I can select that. And again, by means of drag and drop, I can assign it to a particular team member and make that, that assignment. Um, I can drag it onto the open defect uh, column. And again, working with Kanban, we get that reflection of the whip limit here. I've exceeded the whip limit, which was one. And now I have three actually in that column. As a team leader, I have the permission to modify that whip limit and set it. So in this case, I want to to allow that ability uh, to keep that uh, on a three and uh, stories, stories in that lane. I can also, as a team leader, customize that board. I can re rename uh, the, the label, the title of a lane in the board from, let's say, instead of new, I'll call it, we'll call it start. Uh, I can uh, see by the tooltip which uh, phases of each is uh, represented in that lane of each type of story. I can also merge two, two or three together. For example, the in progress now representing only the quality story and user story in progress phase, but I can add to that also the opened uh, phase for defects. So the open defect and in progress will be merged into one. So we see the defects and stories together. Uh, and by that, customize it further for the sake of the team to work with their fashion as Kanban usually calls for content continuously adjusting the progress uh, of, or the process that we are working on. Uh, here, once I've made that assignment, so in my items, I see that the items that I've uh, that were assigned to me, I see the user story that was assigned to me. I can also use I can also see the defect that was assigned to me. I can update it directly from the my work view 
uh, of those new items that were assigned to me so I can move it uh, to fixed and also have it add a comment if needed that I fixed it let's put some uh, put a happy face uh, along that and I can also add a comment directly from here and I can also see the ta the task that the task that was assigned to me and also I can modify it uh, namely by the uh, the face of it and that is of course ref is reflected the same on the board so I can choose to work either from the board directly or from any uh, occurrence of that entity so if you look at the task we see that it is updated as well the, as the stories were updated uh, along with it so that is where the team goes through their work and their process and then the release manager or the product owner or the or the team uh, manager can go to the dashboard to track the progress so here we see for example a collection of widgets for example the feature status again by phases and we can as you can see we can choose different phases uh, so i can see only those business features and how they are spread across the various phases i can see the feature status by order of rank and how they are progressing i have the com community flow diagrams across the release of the content being delivered and also I see the trend graph of the burn down chart. Again, also we have the option of burn up charts and so on. So from this dashboard, the release manager, the team leader, uh, the product owner can uh, get a full track over the progress of the work being done and delivered by the various team members. That's it. Uh, that in a way closes the cycle and the process that uh, we mentioned of describing and creating the content of the backlog planning it against the releases and the sprints and assigning the work to the teams and doing reassignment if needed have the team work on their content by means of my work or the or various boards whether it is storyboard kanban board or task board and follow and track the progress of the work from the dashboard to see that everything works and is in full progress Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this demo.